play. Perfect. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I have is there are three different or four different quadrants, right? And we need to be able to determine the reference angle. I'm like, hey, do I have a zipper open? I'm good. Okay. Um, so, the reference angle is is a lot of times referred to that as theta prime. And what that is, again, the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. So when I ask you to find the reference angle, it might be very helpful to graph what the angle looks like. So if I was going to graph 2 pi over 3, again, I take, I take a circle. And I know that since this is positive, I'm going to go in the positive direction, right? Well, halfway around the circle is pi, right? But we're looking at 2 thirds of pi. So I break it up into thirds. And therefore, I know that my angle is going to go from there to there, right? Because that would be 1 third, that would be 2 thirds, that would be 3 thirds. So that's 2 thirds pi, but that's not what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find what this angle is going to be, which we call theta prime. Because that's the acute, oh shoot, I'm sorry, that's the acute angle. Got to make sure it's acute. So it's the acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. So how do we find this? Well, this is in the second quadrant. The second quadrant tells us, since this is in radians, to do theta prime equals pi minus theta. So I write theta prime equals pi minus theta. Well, what's my theta? My theta is 2 thirds. Theta prime equals pi minus 2 pi over 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember how I said pi can be rewritten as 3 pi over 3, right? And I'm going to prefer to do that because obviously to subtract these, they, they need to have the same denominator. So I'm going to write this as 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. And therefore, you guys can simply see the answer is pi over 3. That's it. Okay. Now, that's the easy stuff.